All right, guys, today we're making a video on something I'm really, really excited about. So, of course, I've been doing videos on the Steam Deck, and today is finally the day that we can play Xbox Game Pass games through xCloud on Steam Deck. So there is a couple of steps that we need to do because it's obviously not a native solution. Uh, they did work with each other at Microsoft and Steam, but there are a few steps that you need to do of downloading a, a different browser since Chrome is still kind of broken on the Steam Deck when it comes to working with controls. So Microsoft Edge is what we're gonna be using to get this to work. So we need to download that, set a few settings to make it look all nice and fancy on, on Steam and get the controls to actually work by running a few commands. But I'm gonna walk you through that and then I'm gonna show you some gameplay on seeing Forza and Halo running on this on the Steam Deck so you guys can take a look at what it looks like but I'm super excited because this opens up a lot of options now we have a hundred over a hundred games now that we can play without actually natively installing on the Steam Deck if we don't want to when we have really good internet connection so we have a lot more games to play now on the Steam Deck so let's go ahead and dive in. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech, gaming tech is all right, guys, welcome back to another video here. You can see that we have a really exciting video today because I've been waiting for this to actually happen is for the Steam Deck to be able to play Xbox Cloud Gaming uh, because that's something I would do. And obviously, I own a lot of games on Xbox already like Forza and Halo and stuff. Some of them are not available on the Steam Deck natively at all. Like Halo, you can't download on, on the Steam Store even if you own it because of the compatibility issues currently with, with the game. Uh, Forza is, but I would have to rebuy the game on Steam when I already own it on Xbox through to me paying for Xbox Game Pass and stuff. So this was what I was waiting for, and we're going to dive in. We're going to show you exactly how to get this to up and running on your Steam Deck if you want to do it, and then I'll show you some gameplay. So here is our Steam Deck in front of us. So the first thing you're going to do, this thing plugged in here is just a keyboard, USB-C to USB-A cable uh, for my uh, keyboard that's sitting here on the side of me that I just have plugged in because it's just gonna make things much easier to navigate. So, first thing we are going to do here is you're gonna hold the top button here for a second. This is gonna pop up. You're gonna go ahead and hit switch to desktop. You're gonna see that message there popping up that says switching to desktop. The next thing you're gonna do here is you're going to open up the store here, the Discover Store, the blue little shopping icon there. Then you're going to go to applications, then you're going to click on internet, and then you're going to click on web browsers here on the left, and then you're going to look for a Microsoft Edge browser here. There it is. Of course, I already have it installed, so it says remove for you. It will obviously say install, so you just hit the install button and wait for that to finish, and that was successfully installed. Then you can go ahead and close this out. Then what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to the bottom start button here. Then you're going to hit on internet. You're going to see the Microsoft Edge browser sitting right there. You're going to hold down on it. And you're going to hit add to Steam as you're seeing right here. This is going to pop up. You're going to scroll down. You're going to find Microsoft Edge browser. And you're going to select it. So there's a check mark next to there. And you're going to hit add selected program. Of course, I'm going to cancel out because I've already done this. But this is what you would do. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to come down here again and you're going to click on system and then you're going to click on console with a K there. This is going to open up and this is where you're going to have to type something in. So you're going to be staring at this right here. I'm going to put exactly what this link or not the link, but what you're actually going to type in. I'm going to put it on the screen now so you guys can see it. So just to spell it out for you guys, because I know it's hard to tell when there's spaces and when to put things together. Flat pack space dash dash user space override space dash dash file system equals slash run slash udev uh, semicolon ro space com dot microsoft dot edge once you have that type in just go ahead and hit enter and it will do its thing and then it should be done you can go ahead and close this out once you run that command then the next thing you're going to do is open up steam and you're going to search in your library for Microsoft. Uh, mine's already been renamed, but you're basically going to be searching for the shortcut you just made. Yours is going to be called Microsoft Edge still because we haven't done the renaming on yours yet. Basically type in Microsoft there, highlight the icon, right click, hit properties, scroll down. And this is the launch options here. So 
uh, if I scroll all the way back here a little bit, just so you guys can see. So all of this that's right here to the left of my arrow where this is pointing, where you see that this is pointing, all of this to the left of that has already been in there. Launch options, uh, this is all going to be there. So these at symbols, at UI, Microsoft Edge, all this in front of it is already going to be there for you guys. What you guys need to type in is everything after these two at symbols right here at the edge here. So you're going to have a space in between and then you're going to type in all of this right here. So I'm going to just read this out loud for you guys. So dash dash window dash size equals 1024 comma 640 space dash dash force dash devices dash scale dash factor equals 1.25 space dash dash device dash scale dash factor equals 1.25 space dash dash kiosk space parentheses https colon slash slash www.xbox.com slash play and parentheses now the next thing you're going to do is you're actually going to download these icons see these icons that i have here this is the shortcut i made this is not something that you guys are, are going to have you need to actually set these so microsoft has made these icons available uh basically you open up internet explore or sorry you can open up google chrome that i already have installed on here and you're going to go to the support website which again i will have in front of you right now so you can go to that on your screen and you're going to go ahead and hit how to set up xbox cloud you're going to scroll down a little bit so you can get to the shortcut where they have the link to download the icons so it says please use a supplied artwork to complete the shortcut right there as you guys are looking at there's a link right there you're going to click on that link it's going to download on your desktop or, or on your uh machine here open up that blue folder so you're going to have this in your downloads folder you're just going to go ahead and open it this is going to show up use your keyboard as i'm doing and do the right arrow on it so it drops down this little arrow there on the right that you see and here are the three icon packs you can just go ahead kind of drag those three you can minimize this and kind of minimize here too and you can kind of drag these wherever you want by just moving them across but i just decided to drag them into my documents folder so you can see here i have the three um icons right there so you can just drag them right onto there and then you're going to go back into steam here and this is of course going to be blank for you so you're going to find again the xbox cloud there or the microsoft edge which actually uh just for you guys to mention you should probably rename yours i forgot to mention that before you could just rename it right here if you want uh which is a good time to start right here so just touch on this rename it to xbox cloud gaming beta touch on this icon here and yours is going to be blank obviously but you're, you're going to click on this blank gray icon that you're going to have. You're going to go ahead. You're going to click on home. And then you're going to use your keyboard, which to me makes it easier. You are going to have to click in the window first. But click on deck. If you put it in the documents folder like I did, you click on deck. And then documents. And then you're going to have to hit all files down here. And then you're going to select the one that says game icon. And then you're just going to go ahead and hit open right there. And then this is going to be the icon right there. So we have that part set. Then over here, this is also going to be gray. So you're just going to go ahead and hold down. And it's going to say, uh, I'm just going to clear it for you guys so you guys can see it. But basically, this is what it's going to look like for you. And then you're going to hit set custom background. Again, you're going to go to the same thing again. After you click on that arrow down there, you're going to click on home. And then you're going to click on deck again. And of course, documents. And then you're going to click on the banner. And there's the banner and then you're just going to click in this area right here again yours is going to be uh there's not going to be anything there so i'm just going to clear the custom logo see yours is going to look like this right now you're just going to go ahead and hold this area right here and then it's going to say set custom logo we're going to set ours again you're going to click on this to shut the arrow so it goes back to the root click on there then home then deck then documents and then again this is going to now be the capsule and there you go. So we have all of that set. You can go ahead and close out of Steam there. And then we can go ahead at the top here and we can just go ahead and hit return to game mode. Let that go back to the regular Steam OS. And then of course on your library here, if you scroll all the way to the right, you're going to see a non-Steam game and you're going to have the cloud symbol right here. And this is what you're going to open up. And before we launch it, we're going to go ahead and click on the controller icon. You're going to make sure that this is set to gamepad with mouse trackpad. So that's what it needs to be set to, gamepad with mouse trackpad. 
and then we just hit play right from the Steam library. You can see it starts launching. You can see it's going for full screen by itself. That's what that launch command was that we put in there. And here we are. And of course, I'm already signed in. You'll have to click on the sign in button there for, for you to sign in. But you can see here I'm navigating the menu with the D-pad here. Or I can also use the analog stick to scroll up and left and right. And uh, for example, let's go ahead and launch Forza 5 Standard Edition here. Just hit A like you would regularly. You can see it's launching with Cloud Gaming. Here we are with Forza 5. You can see we can access the uh, settings here. So I can look at the video settings. The graphics is currently set to quality. Uh, you can also set the quality instead to performance. So you can get 60 FPS or you can set it to quality, whichever way you want to do it. Let's do performance for the time being because I think most people for a racing game like this are going to want to see 60 FPS. But of course you can change it to 30 to get higher, higher fidelity. So we're just going to hit save. It's asking us to restart. We're going to restart the game. You could see our counter there at the top now went up to 60. So the counter for Steam o that you can enable in Steam in these quick settings here does work in Game Pass. It knows what the FPS that you're using in the game works. So it is reliable. As you've seen that now it's not 30, it's 60 since we changed that setting. We're going to go ahead and hit start. Because I may have just smashed a bunch. No, no, that's good. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Seasonal collectibles. More where that came from. So here we are at the main menu here. And what's really fantastic about playing a game like this, of course you need internet connection, so it's not as good as having a game portably on this thing where you can play anywhere. Uh, if you had it on Steam installed, that's uh, you know fantastic about it. But when you do have internet, that's really good. This is awesome because the battery life is going to last you a lot longer because you are now using the battery life, look at that, 2 hours and 24 minutes because all you're doing is running a game on a browser. Microsoft servers are doing all the work, so when you're playing a game like this on, on Microsoft, the battery is going to last you a lot longer. 2 hours and 24 minutes, and I only have 46%. This would have been like 45 minutes right now if it wasn't for the, if this was natively installed. So there are pros and cons to both of these things. Yes, it needs internet, but your battery is going to last longer now because of it, uh, because you're running it just natively on here. So let's go ahead and back out of this. Telling me I got some new content, a new car. I am unfortunately going to lower the music here because of copyright stuff, but you can see here how awesome this is that I am now using the Steam Deck to play this game. Granted, again, I am playing behind a uh, camera, so this is going to take some getting used to. And I'm, this is the first time I'm actually playing Forza uh, with the Steam Deck, so i got to get used to the sensitivity on these controls and stuff like that. And playing with no sound is weird too, but that's obvious. But yeah, look how fantastic this looks, and this isn't even on, per this is on performance mode, so it's 60 FPS, of course, and my driving skills are showing really well. But uh, yeah, 60 FPS here, uh, and it still looks really, really good, as you guys are looking at here. But yeah, this, this looks really good, and runs fantastic, you wouldn't even know it's not native. Uh, but that's, that's always been uh, xCloud, they do, like, if your internet is good enough, it's fan a fantastic way to play games like this. Looks really good. A lot of fun to play. Um, I definitely recommend a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi if you're going to try doing this. Uh, otherwise, you're going to get some glitches and stuff sometimes, and things are going to lag. A guy almost hit me. But yeah, uh, this game runs really well. Uh, I think you guys will have a lot of fun with this now that Game Pass is on here. And, of course, we got to talk about Halo Infinite, because this game you can actually get on Steam uh, natively, as long as you want to pay for it uh, for a full 60 bucks right now. You can get this natively installed, so not as cool to play this game. But now you can play Halo Infinite on here, so let's go ahead and dive into that. And what's nice about this is you could still pull up your quick settings, you could still pull up your Steam settings uh, while they're on here, all that kind of stuff. And then you have the Xbox symbol up there that you can kind of just touch whenever you want. It brings up the, the Xbox guide, and then you can easily just quit the game right from there. This pops up. Oh, hit the wrong button. And just hit quit game right there. Let's go ahead and raise the volume back now that we're going to play some Halo. Let me just go back in here. We're just going to go ahead and launch Halo. And, and you guys now got a giant catalog of games to be able to play on the go now. Uh, like I said, you do need internet, but it's awesome to be able to play these games. So let's go ahead and just click on Halo here. So here we are with Halo. And something that I didn't mention before, but it is unfortunately kind of obvious here uh, for anybody who's played Game Pass before, 
is, um, and this is the same thing. You could do performance, 60 FPS, or quality. We're going to leave it on performance for 60. Um, is obviously you're going to get the black borders. That's why the 60 and the Xbox logo is a little bit off-center of the screen. Because Microsoft does their games for Game Pass on 16 by 9 ratio. And Steam Deck is a 16 by 10 ratio. Maybe that's something that hopefully they change, especially as they get on more screen sizes so we don't have these black bars. I don't know how easy that is for them to do, but you will see black bars on here because of the uh, on every Game Pass game. But that's a Game Pass thing, not a Steam Deck thing. That's always been that way for a lot of cases. There's usually black bars on all the phones I've played and all that stuff when I've done Game Pass stuff. Same thing on the iPad and such. Let's click on some, some Slayer here. So here we are with some Slayer. I'm probably not going to be able to show you guys how good I am at this game right now because I'm, again, playing behind a camera. But you guys will be able to see how the game looks like and stuff uh, at 60 FPS here. Controls work as you expected. Running with the left analog stick. Punching with the right. You know, all the, all the controls that you expect to work throwing grenades with your with your left bumper kind of thing okay shooting us from the top damn he came out with a rocket launcher out of nowhere but yeah the game runs great but it's not really a shock because this isn't the first time I've played Game Pass. I also played it on a, on a phone and stuff. At least I got one kill for you guys. Looks like another guy killed me right afterwards. But at least I got that guy that I definitely should have killed. Probably even better. But uh, again, playing on a camera is hard. Maybe we can get on this vehicle here if it loads before I get killed. Here we are. Seems like all these guys, all they have is rocket launchers all the time. We got a little bit of a kill assist. This guy's hiding from me. That's the end of that. But you can got you guys can see how well this is running at 60 FPS here, how good it looks. Uh, you would think this game's running natively, at least at least with my internet at my house. Obviously, mileage may vary, but Game Pass has always performed really well where I am. I I do got a one gig line with one up and one down, so I know that that's not everyone's case, but uh, that is mine. But yeah. That's a overview of how to get Game Pass working on the Steam Deck. Great to have more games on the Steam Deck easily playable now. So if you guys have any questions about what you guys have seen here today, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.